Greetings everyone, my name is Flair Bliss here and welcome to the demo of Arcadia. Now first and foremost, thank you so much to the developer of allowing me to have early access to the game. By the time you'll be watching this video, the game will probably be available to download for you to play for yourself. But, welcome to Arcadia. A game inside a game, kind of fantasy mysterious game, where you explore the dreams and realities within, let's say, a dream. In an arcade machine. This is probably expired by Umaniki, and this also gives me um, sort of reminiscence of Wrecked Ralph. You know, a game inside a game. But without further ado, let us start this adventure. This is a game that I've been looking forward to for some time. Let's see now. Controls confirm is to either Z or space or enter. Backwards or menu? Oh, okay. Menu and backwards is the same. Cure run is obviously to shift with the F, obviously. So if I said the other word, skip text is with A. We won't be using that. And full screen, we won't be using either. Is to um, alt and enter. Okay. Save game by opening the menu. More controls are introduced throughout the game. Absolutely. Wow, what a pretty place. Oh, inside a room. Inside a room. Inside a window. Because I'm recording in a window. Hello there. Who are we? Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, even the sounds sound dreamy. Options. Background volume. Background sound. Sound effects. Auto dash. Uh, automatically dash without holding the run button. I will keep that. And, well, I'll keep that as that. Uh, Insta text. Um, now we keep it. We keep everything as it is by the defaults. And there's a star sign as well, so I wonder if they're collectibles. A journal where pages are worn and crumbled. It is impossible to read. Flipping to the last page, the writer becomes legible. She glare me with a second glance. I finally be able to apologize to you. I can't read that writing. I'll bring you back home, I promise. Was there any... Okay, there's some fonts I need to install, wasn't there? I'll be right back. It's okay, though, because I believe that would be an important thing anyway. So we're just going to explore the rest of the room before looking at that. A painting of the night sky. The stars are accurately positioned. Same again. Oh, look at that. We've got ourselves a running animation. This is the first time I've seen this. A lamp with a broken light bulb. Because when you run, it's just the same animation as when you're walking. But look at this. Look at her legs. Their legs. A dresser is locked. It's a locked dresser, man. Journal. Okay, so it doesn't make a difference if I install the fonts. Uh, Apologise to you. I believe that's Jazz. Bring you back home, I promise. And then... We can be a family again. Hmm? A silver coin is tucked into the pages. Got token. Oh, who's that? Who are you? I wonder if we're a, a mute protagonist. Or well, silent one. One who doesn't choose to speak. There are a few differences between a mute and silent, I would believe. A silent protagonist chooses to stay silent, and a mute protagonist is one who physically can't speak. Let's go into the door then. Ooh, more stars. More stars. Oh, when are we going to see our first arcade machine? Ah, dreamy. Now look at the background. I saw this cat, and I'm like. This is a cute cat. I want at least 10 bubble heads of this cat. Hello, hello. Welcome to the wonderful world of your dreamscape. In case you can't tell, you're dreaming right now. My name is Fearis. Think of me as your guide through this world. You look a little lost. Is something wrong? Oh, I see you're looking for someone. Huh? Is that the reason you came to Arcadia? Interesting. Surprised. I can read minds, you know. Meow, meow. Well, the person you're looking for isn't important right now. Meow, meow. Instead, let me explain how the world of Arcadia works. That's a lot more relevant at the moment, meow. 
As you know, you have been transported to Arcadia last night. Wait a minute, I only just got this game a few minutes ago. As long as you're here, you can enter this world while you're sleeping. Once you're inside, you can access something cool. What, like the winning lottery tickets? Follow me, ow. Nice pun there. But I want to see the rabbits first. Really? I know you're worried about your little brother, but can't you humor me for now? No, because I'm here looking for my brother. So, one thing we know about this protagonist is that they have a sibling, a little brother, and I believe a little brother is the one we keep seeing through these doors. Check it out, it's your own, very own arcade machine. Instead of boring old dreams, you get to play a cool game based off your own aspirations. Isn't that neat, meow meow? Something that only fantasy could put to life. Once you complete all the levels of your game, your wish will come true. Think of it like a free wash mach wish machine. I always said wash machine. Like a washing machine. To happiness, purr. Of course for you, there's a small catch. Ha! <laughs> oh, nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Uh, um, as I was saying, as long as you rain, remain in Arcadia, you'll have access to this arcade machine as well as a special token to use. You have it already, yes? Yes? Be aware that your token will only work on your own arcade machine. Makes sense. Right? Sort of like... Uh, I'm just trying to think of another game with a sort of concept where... You have this thing, it only works for you, and only you can access it on your own device. I can't think of any right now. Makes sense, right? Not that you'll be able to see other people's arcade machines. That would be an invasion of privacy, and that's a huge no-no, meow meow. But keep, but keep that in mind just in case some fake happens. Anyway, I recommend you save here. You are such a helpful guide, little one. I'm going to name you Theorist. Oh wait, you've already named Theorist. Okay. <laughs> You won't be able to save while playing arcade machines, so please be ready. Now go have fun. But what if I don't want to have fun? What if I? What if? I, what if I? For some reason, would do it. God damn it! <laughs> An arcade machine for Moon Bunny Madness. The description reads: An epic adventure of a little bunny. Fight aliens from moon and retrieve your loved ones. Wanna play? I'll play the game. Insert a token and press start. Start. Start to the game, in the game, in the game. Once upon a time there was a small family of rabbits. It was a normal family like any other. One day something happened. Something that changed their lives. Forever. Look at all these little bunnies. Hello. It's a spaceship. Oh no, not abduction. Oh, uh, that's what I thought it was. No. One little bunny. Um, to attack, press X, press X multiple times for a jumping attack. Oh, uh, let's... Let's do all of the things, shall we? Let's do all of our lovely little bunny hobby attack events. Help, help, my friend has been taken by the aliens. What, yours too? But you understand how I feel, don't you? We are the Clovers and we have magical powers that generate a lit energy from objects. The aliens have captured us to power up the UFOs and other strange devices. Please save my family, I'll help you in return. Yes. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'll be wasting at the gate to the north, please hurry. I'm not a crude one, but waste time. Fully healed. Okay, so you say you're to the north, but yet, um... Should I go into the maze? Oh, did I do it? I got something out of it, I believe. Okay, let's explore the maze that is here. It's, um... It's nearly, it's, it, actually it's just gone quarter to ten at night and I've been up since 
half past five this morning for voluntary work. And I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty tired. But you know what? I'll power through this because there's only one night of a year where I probably just forget about sleep and just power on through and then suffer the, the later night. Um, is there any way through this maze or am I just stuck here? Um, okay, maybe there's only access when we're on the other side of the maze. That could be something, right? Okay, so there's nothing that way. Let's go to the right. Hey, don't you attack me. Okay, I discovered that I am not good at attacking. I'll break this thing and get me out of here. Just keep bashing at it. Thanks for saving me, dear. I best be off to the north gate now. My husband and daughter also got taken. Please help them too, okay? Thanks, sweet pea. I'm a rabbit. I am a secret rabbit assassin from Endroll. Except this time I don't have the carnivorous tenacious to just chomp down on everything and everyone. Oh, so the only way is through the maze then. Unless we need to go back. That could be something. Oh! Um, what the heck happened here? Is this supposed to be a barrier? Um, yeah, that's not meant to be a thing. Yeah. Developer, I found something. I found it. I found a little thing there. But don't you worry. I am not one for procrastinating on the small things because we can continue with the game rather than sitting here for another two hours complaining about one little thing. Because that's not necessary. So it is this way. Look at that. Hey, alien. You don't know the passcode. I don't know the passcode. Um. Well, who are you? You're here to save me? That's nice, but no matter how hard you try, you won't be able to break this barrier. You have to find a passcode somehow. I heard there was a secret base hidden somewhere. You could probably find a code here. There. Where's the secret base then? Unless those trees earlier were the secret base. Goddy, 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 good, good gumdrops. And we don't have any gumdrops. I found something along a hidden path that I don't think was here before. Maybe this is a secret base. There's an note on the ground, top secret location of a secret base directly left of treasure chest in the maze. Directly left, you say? Is that... Is that the right answer or is that a plot twist? Maybe it's the right side and we just need to... Just go outside of a box. Rather than left, it's right. Then again, if, if it's lefty, then... Would you just go... There's something strange about this wall. Uh, found a hidden passage. Oh no, not a hidden passage. There's someone there. Oh, good. You're here to save me, right? Right? Listen, you're in a maze right now. It's really dark, so watch your step. These aliens have a habit of making mazes for some reason. Yet they've only just come here. Yet you know about how they make mazes. Okay, we're just gonna go with a the fly then. Anyway, one roll well move and you'll find yourself back to where you started. Like I remember the path they took when they captured me. Well, most of you anyways. Anyway, start by heading a couple of steps north. Okay, then head east from there. Now head north again. Be careful not to stray off the path. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, good, good. Next up, head west. One, two, three. Ah, I'm getting hungry. Please hurry. Anyway, you should go south from here. One, two. I wonder what's what it is tonight. Oh, head west again. One, two, three. Four, five. Now it's north for sure. Probably. One, two, 
Don't fill me with confidence with probably. Next, uh, was it north, then west? Or was it west and north? No, it's east from here, definitely. I'm going to go in your word on it. Then it's north. Almost there. One, two. Then it's... Huh? I can't remember the next step. It was either east or... No, east or west. I'm sorry, whoever you are. You're going to have to take a leap of faith here. East or west, it's a 50-50 chance. Good luck. Great. Thank you. We're going to go right, because right is the right answer. You. You still there? You are. Awesome, you did it. Not bad, not bad. Okay, from there it's north. Just a little more. Of course right is right, because we're in east. And east is right. And right is right. You made it. The door's right in front of you. Hurry up and open it. Hey, look at that. We're in a secret base. Look at this. Look at this. Look at me, aliens. You had no chance against me and my kung fu skills. I'm a rabbit, but of course, I'm no ordinary rabbit. I'm here to save my friends. A thousand strange alien equipment. Oh, dearie me. It looks the sort of stuff from uh, 1960s NASA operations. I don't know, don't know what this is. Hello. No, I don't want to leave. I want to save my friend. You made it through the maze. It wasn't too bad, right? Of course, you had my help after all. Now, can you do me a favor and head over to that computer over there? I need you to shut down this barrier. Which, you talk, you talk about this computer? This one? I can't get there, though. Um, or maybe it's this one. Don't know what this is. Which computer are you referring to? Oh, which one are you referring to? Um... Yeah, I don't know which... The code is on the computer, just type it in and this barrier will shut off. I don't know what it is though. I can't access it. What? No, I don't want to leave. Which... Where is it? Oh, that computer. Okay. Ooh, part. Type in the code seems to unlock the cell. Ooh, thanks, friend. I'm off to the north gate now. If I were you, I would remember that code. It may come in handy later. Um, it's either O or zero. So I'm just going to write this for keep safe. So, zero zero P A R T or O O P A R T. As I look at it now, it's probably zero, just because it's not entirely circumferent. It's entirely circular. Type in the code seems to unlock the cell. It's already unlocked the cell. Doesn't matter though. Um, leave, yes. We'll leave the secret place. Hey, get out of my, oh. Um, I've forgotten how to attack then. <laughs> Damn me. Pretty healed. So, oh, I've already rescued the one from here. So I don't need to look at these aliens anymore. So, we need to go to the east now and rescue our friend. Get out of here. Good, we've made it here. What is the passcode? You part. What? You did it. You're quite smarty, aren't you? You're quite, quite a smarty, aren't you? I'm off to the north gate now. Make sure to stop by after you gather all of us. Got it? How many of you were there? Is that four? Or five? You saved all of the clovers. Go to the north gate. Is there any secrets? Nah, let's go to it. Let's go to the north gate. I believe you're all here. Keep up the good work, you've got this. You should have got some skills. What would we do without you? Thanks for doing all of this for us, sweetie. You did it. Thank you, thank you. What a happy reunion. I appreciate all of your help. Let me open this gate for you. Ah. With the four primary colours. Um. You want to go to the mountains? So do I. You see, the mountains are full of delicious food. 
but for some reason after those blasted aliens invaded, the path to the mountains is gone. There's nothing but a dead end here. There's a giant scroll. All that's left are some white, weird buttons. Some kind of puzzle probably known these nuisances. How about we strike a deal? Solve this puzzle and I won't eat you. You have 20... What are you trying to imply? I haven't been given any clues. No. I don't... Um... Uh... What the what heck? Um... What are you trying to imply? Time's up. Bon appetit. Was that an actual way of doing that? I don't think I don't think that was possible. Hello, sleepyhead. If you're reading this letter, that means you're finally awake. That's all my squirrel gives, gave, gave you a rude awakening. Sorry about that, but it's already sunset, you know. Did you have a good sleep? You really surprised me, appearing out of nowhere in the middle of last night. Thank goodness we managed to get a house set up for you. Well, allow me to properly welcome you to Arcadia. When you're ready, come and meet us in the town square. We're all excited to have a new friend. And look at those curtains. Have a weave. Emmy. Who the heck is Emmy? An empty drawer. It looks clean and new. Don't you mess with me. A refreshing and floral scented breeze wafts through the opened window. Lovely. A, a log? What's with all this plant life? Some pretty flowers. And a vine. Climbing it would be dangerous. Of course it would. Uh, table? I like the animation. Like when we stop and the head just goes up. Who are we playing as? Some sort of weird plant? Uh, some fungi, probably? Plants in every nook and cranny. Different dialogue in every nook and cranny, which is very nice. You know, the same thing, but different speech. It's all nice. Let me save for the moment. I'm not sure if um, you was able to complete that thing. Welcome, newcomer. You're finally awake. That sure took a while. But look at all these flower petals through the air. Come on, everyone's already at the town square. Are they now? Are they now? North town square, south greenhouse. What if we just... Look at these houses, man. Is someone's house knock on the door? No one's answering. Look at it. Look at these houses. Oh my god, they're so alive. It is photosynthesis after all. <laughs> oh my god, this is so pretty. Gosh. This is what really makes a, a nice appeal to a game. Was when, was when the developers actually give a damn about how it looks rather than just, you know, the story of the game. And we haven't really touched the story of the game so far. But just looking at this game, you know it's got a lot of care and a lot of detail to it. It's wonderful. And I believe that's on purpose so that you can see your character behind a tree. It's kind of like a 50% or a 20% transparent version of you as a player. Okay, so I don't think we could have gone to the greenhouse. A sandbox with a basket, with a baseball and baseball bat and ball. It would be lonely to play alone. Also, there's no time to dilly dally. Of course, there's time to dilly dally. We have all the time in the world. A soccer ball or football, depending on the region. Good one. In my region, it's called football, and for other people in the world, it's called soccer. What you call rugby, well, what we call rugby, you call American football. Left, trade away shop, right, wallflower bakery. Plus, press Z to skip across. What do you mean by skip across? Should head to town square first. <gasps> Bouncy! 
Locked. Oh, there's a note on the door. Shop closed until further notice. We can skip across these lily pads. Excellent. Should head to the town square first. Oh, but that's over though. I want to get some delicious bakery. What's everyone doing now? Look at all this tea. A tea set for tea time. Smells nice. Look at this board. A mess of... A mess of papers and photos are tucked up on the bulletin board. A particularly recent article catches the eye. Wow. King Quetzal's new regulation. Our beloved King Quetzal has announced that everyone in Arcadia should stay in their respective aisles at this time. Travelling between aisles at this point in time is strictly prohibited. This is for everyone's safety as the strange phenomenon occurring is unpredictable at this point. This regulation will stay in place until further notice. This photo... Could it be? Sorry, I'm late! Who is here? Are you Emmy? Hello, hello! Welcome to my lovely aisle. My name is Ellie. I am the head of this aisle. What's your name? What's wrong? Mizey. Oh, I see. Uh, uh, I definitely understand. Wow. <laughs> That's right, though. <laughs> That's hilarious. Mizey. Oh, Mizey, is it? Nice to meet you. Everyone, let's welcome Mizey. Wow, new, yeah, welcome. Blah, blah, blah. Please take your time and make yourself at home. Feel free to explore, but don't get into any trouble, okay? Okay. Okay. The forest is off limits right now. There's been a lot of people getting lost in it recently. Let's go to the forest then. But other than that, explore to your heart's content. And don't forget to introduce yourself to everyone. I'm sure everyone in town is excited to meet you. I know some of them even have gifts to give you as well. Then how do you even know my name? If I see a gift and it has my name on it, how the hell do you even know my name of the bat? After you introduce yourself to everyone, please come find me. And where was you? And don't forget to watch your house. Excellent. <laughs> of course, the most important part of it all. Uh, there's photosynthesis, but of course there's the hydration part as well. I'm super cautious. Just curious. What is your dreamscape game like? Uh, you won't tell? How oh, steeny. It's not that I don't want to tell, it's because I can't tell, okay? Emmy is as energetic as ever. Energetic as ever. Huh? Anyway, welcome to Arcadia, Measy. Hope you have a grand time here. Oh, by the way, I found this on the ground nearby. Got the mystery key. It's some strange key. Yeah, I have no idea where it goes, so I guess you can just... Have it? It's my welcome gift to you. Welcome to Arcadia, Mizey. My, my gift to you is something I just picked up off the dirt five minutes ago. I hope you like it. Sorry, but the prison forest is off limits for now. More and more people have been getting lost in there thanks to a mysterious phenomenon recently. Anyway, you need Emmy's permission to enter. Sorry. No, you're not sorry you're doing this for your own benefits. I bet the guards here are corrupted and they secretly work for the secret organization. If you watch Steins Gate, you know what I mean by a, a secret organization. Locked, but there's no, 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 I... Unless, of course, that part of the game is not developed yet. God damn it. <laughs> it's okay, though. This is only a demo. Hello, welcome to Wallfloor. Wallflower, also known as Arcadia's number one bakery. Plot twist, it's the only bakery in Arcadia. <laughs> oh, you must be the new arrival. Wow, we aren't you a cutie pie? My name is Leanne. Nice to meet you, or Leanne. What's your name? Mizey. Ah, so it's Mizey. Mizey, 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 Mizey. Oh, I won't forget it. Now, I have a very important question for you. Be honest, don't worry about offending me. Do you like... Bread? 
I like bread. I really like bread. Oh, I knew it. There's no one in the world who can resist a loaf of fluffy, sweet-smelling carbs. Just like a person who doesn't like a cranny patty is a person who's never even laid their tongue on a cranny patty. If you're a SpongeBob fan, you know what I'm talking about. So here we go, fresh from the oven. I've been experimenting a little bit. I think it went well. Probably. Why does everyone keep saying probably here? Got some flour bread. Anyway, this is my bakery. I sell all sorts of baked goods and hot drinks here. Hot drinks? Do you have the C-O-F-F-E-E? -E? Sometimes when you're feeding down, all you want to do is inhale the scent of freshly baked bread, you know? Oh yeah, I guess you can eat it too. Anyway, feel free to ask me anything. My friend there works at the trade shop. Why don't you go introduce yourself? You may have to poke her shoulder a few times to get her attention. Yes, yeah, since we can't speak to them, we have to let them know it some other way. Fancy equipment to mix and heat drinks. And what's this? Bright red flowers. A hot mouth-watering pie. Did someone just say pie? A large fruit-topped cake. Did someone just say cake? Smell sweet! Stacks of baked goods piled high on the counter. Did someone just say baked goods? Loaves and loaves of bread. Lots and lots and lots of bread. <laughs> That's almost in itself a pun. She looks focused on her task. Tap on her shoulder? Your, your sh soldier's shoulder. <laughs> Tap on her shoulder. Oh. Hello, I don't recognise you. Could be you be new? Ah, oh, that's right. Emmy mentioned that someone arrived last night. I apologise for not attending the welcome party. To be honest, I forget what time it was at. Not to mention, Diana didn't even say anything about it. <laughs> Whoopsie. My bad. I've got about it too. Anyway, my name is Faye. It's very nice to meet you. And your name is... Let's get the pencil out again. <laughs> it's Mizey. Ah, nice to meet you, Mizey. Wait, why are you answering for her? Because she doesn't talk, obviously. Oh, is that so? Well, it's fine if I just ask yes, no questions, right? I mean, you could just nod or shake your head. Or I can write. Or you could do that. Yeah, that works. Yeah, because that gets around the... Um, the difficulty of only asking questions because if you just ask questions then you're not that much of a social person if you just go into it and in a social conversation only ask questions because that's not really character building that's just asking questions and questions should be something that you should keep at a minimal anyway as liana probably told you i'm responsible for running the trade shop next door i will see material from other aisles and make useful items out of them then, my items are sold here or delivered to the other aisles. However, the shop is temporarily closed right now. I don't know if you heard between, but, but travel between aisles is prohibited right now. This means I can't receive any materials from the other aisles right now. The shop is completely devoid of wares. So, until the king says something, I will be here helping out Leon at the bakery. Anyway, I do have a gift for you. Emmy made me prepare one ahead of time. Got bait bag. It's a bait bag. I made it for the magical wall of the fourth Isle's creatures, so it's very sturdy. Magical wall. Magical sheep. What kind of sheep is this? Is it from a Mareep? The creatures of Arcadia really love these sugary candies. You could use this bait to lure them pretty much wherever you want. Of course, I'd recommend you only use it when you need to bait. Well, you need to. Bait isn't easy to come by, so you better save it for special circumstances. I hate to say it, but this is really for your own self-defense. Recently, there have been reports of aggressive creatures roaming around. It may be hard to believe right now, but Arcadia is really an amazing place. Maybe that glitchy thing when the giant squirrel appeared 
that's part of the chaos that's going on here. I'm not sure why, but right before you came, this weird phenomenon happened and things just got weird. Enough about that though, let me show you how to use, how to lure using bait. Um, yes, not. Start baiting tutorial. Great, let's go. Okay, welcome to my cute little training area. It is cute, isn't it? These are my adorable little sheepies. They are pretty spoiled little tykes and will chase you around to get head pass. Ah, don't worry, they don't bite. Plot twist. They are carnivorous creatures. They just don't show it to you. Actually, in all of humanity, sheep have secretly been known to be carnivorous creatures. But 100% of the time that we see them, they just eat grass. Anyways, but then again, they'll question us how they do their number twos and what they look like and what they smell like. Anyways, back to Arcadia. Let me explain how to lure. To drop bait, press the A key. You can only drop one bait at a time. Dropping another one will replace the previous one. When you drop a bait, the critter will head towards it to eat it. Once they finish, they will go back to chasing after you. Please note that when they are chasing the bait, they will walk right past you. Their speed is also reduced. Remember that once you run out of bait, that's it. Please note that although my sheepies are pretty slow, some other creatures of Arcadia can run pretty fast. Okay, that should be it. Let me give you some bait to try out. Got bait times 10. Talk to me once you're ready to leave. Are you talking about that? Um, uh, um, push A, push A, push A, 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 A. What about if I just stick it in the furthest corner? Oh, I can't do anything with them. What if I just... Hello! Oh, you're so lovely, aren't you, sheepies? You're so gorgeous and cute and... Oh, you're stuck. Okay, <laughs> I need to interact with you again, then. Yeah. What else can I do while I'm here? Apart from being eaten by these carnivorous sheep. Sheep, let's go sleep. If I keep counting sheep, I will go to sleep, by the way. <laughs> I did mention that I'm quite tired. But it's all good. It's all part of the fun. It's all part of the plot twist, you know. And these sheep are rather dreamy because they are pink. Hey. I'm gonna lure you with. Ready to leave? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna take back my sheepy bait. And here, let me give you the bait to use for yourself. I hope you find it useful. Remember, you can only use it in certain areas. Now let's head back to the bakery. Hey, Mizey, would you like to practice using bait? I'm good. Okay, I'll be here if you need anything. Anything at all? Was there somebody down here or was I just hallucinating? Piano! A fancy piano it looks well used. So this place has not been here for... Uh, well, this place has been here for a bit of time then. Anything else? Hey, hey, what can I do for you? I would like to... Tell me more about... What do you want to know about? What about goods? Which one do you want to know more about? Oh my god, there's loads of sections to it. Rose tart! This is a super delicious apple and custard tart. Okay, this game is meant to make me enjoy the game, but now I'm starting to feel hungry and enjoy the game. I, I favoured it with rose water. If you're feeling terrible, this thing will perk... My apologies, though. This thing will perk you right up. Trust me. I hate to say it, but with this mysterious phenomenon going on in Cardi, Cardi you can find yourself getting hurt if you aren't careful. But a chop of this delicious pastry will get you all healed up in no time. Uh, tell me more about... About goods? About the cookie of life? It's like the fountain of... The fountain of youth. But it says it's a cookie. It lets you... Unage. Oh, sorry, de-age. Is that even a thing? <gasps> Mocha latte. Oh my god. You've got my two favourite things here. Cookies and no mochas. 
This cookie is made with a secret ingredient. I'm not revealing it, it what it is, but suppose it can bring you back from the dead. Yeah, I swear I'm not joking. The price makes sense now, huh? Not to mention it's super soft and sweet too. If you got credits, it wouldn't be a bad idea to invest in a couple of these yummy treats. So they like revival items. Tell me more about... Tell me more about the mockers, please. Please give me a taste of the mockers. This is probably the most caffeinated thing you will ever drink. It's made of coffee and chocolate and syrup and a bunch of other sugary things that will definitely keep you awake. Drinking it will also boost your speed for a good 10 seconds. Maybe you could use it when you're late for a date or something. <laughs> Secretly, I've never been on a date, so I don't know what that's like being late. I suppose I'm not early as well. All on time. Any hoes. Right. I don't, I don't want you to give me that description anymore. Now my taste for mockers has drastically reduced. Thank you. About credits. You don't know what credits are? Well, you are new, so I guess it can't be helped. While playing your Dreamscape arcade machine, you can find credits hidden around in various places. Think of them as rewards for searching carefully. Yeah, searching for the things which are sparkly. But you know what? It would be rather trolly if there are credits hidden in the game that aren't sparkled. There are only a certain amount of credits per play, so you can't accumulate them easily. Make sure to spend them wisely. Okie dokie, so can we find items while we're on adventures? About Leon. Oh, you want to know about little old me? Well, I've been in Arcadia for quite some time. Back then, this owl didn't even exist. And Emmy was just a regular non owl leader girl like me and Faye. Now look how much things have changed. It was my dream to open a bakery, and Emmy gave her full support. She even helped with building it on this aisle. So come in, so she comes in here to play piano sometimes. When you get a chance, pop in for a listen. It's really beautiful. Um, just ask if you need anything. That's all of them, I believe. Right, can I exit? I can exit. Can I? Now, let's see what's going on. Trade away, sure. Uh, skip across. What do you mean by skip across? Oh. You can also do it with enter. This all good. We're all good on that behalf. Another map. Look at that tree. That is wonderful. I've heard that making trees is a horrendously long endeavor to try and make a tree. I don't know, I'm guessing this tree took like four hours. Even as an experienced artist, I would probably believe, well, I'm not an experienced artist myself, but if I was in a position of an experienced artist, I'd probably say that that tree probably took a lot longer than other aspects, like the grass, for example. Hey, Amizy, exploring the aisle? Oh, this gate, at least the second aisle. Of course, you need the leader's key in order to open the gate and leave. It wasn't always like that. But one of the our leaders made that policy recently. I wonder why. Anyway, here's a little something to help to to help to orient yourself. Got a world map? Yeah, let's look at the world map, thank you. Okie dokie, so we're in um where are we in this map? I think we're on aisle one just because it's all flowery. Arcadia is made up of six floating isles. Cool, right? Cool, right? It is really cool. A fancy gate entwined with ivory is locked shut. Oh, dearie me. Um, uh, a strange key, the initials HH are covered on the handle. A simple notebook used for writing and drawing. Somehow we've got this in our inventory as well. Play controls. Bait bag. A sturdy sack used for st to store bait. And a map of the world of Arcadia. Items. Bait, obviously. Sunflower bread. A big loaf of hot, fragrant bread. Because even if we turn to this game a hundred years later, this sunflower bread will still remain hot. It's laden with sunflower seeds. 
Uh, it's a hundred years old. You shouldn't eat the damn thing. Throw it away. I'm joking. No, I'm not going to throw it away. This is Arcadia. A beautiful landscape. Let's keep going then. Look at this windmill. Look at this wonderful windmill. You know what? That's perfectly fine, but what do you mean by water my house? It's someone's house knocking on the door. No one's answering. Uh, I'm gonna knock again. I'm gonna knock again. I'm gonna knock again. I'm gonna knock again. Okay, so actually no one's there, okay? Fine, be like fake thing. I'll just be on my own way, then. It's someone's house. Knock on the door. No one's answering. Why is nobody answering? This is, is this part of a glitch of the game? Is this part of a supposed glitch? This is my house, isn't it? This is my house. Excellent. Right, is there anything else that we can do? Oh. Uh, why is that fishing rod coming out of your mouth? Oh, hey, Micey. Right? I never probably welcomed you to Arcadia, have I? Please. Oh, welcome. Please live in peace to your heart's content. Oh, well, I suppose I have a gift for you. Uh, come find me later. I'll fish up something for you. Eventually. Do you even know how to use that thing? A tackle box containing various lures, hooks, and bobbers. Can we steal them? Can we water our house? Well, there's a well there. Can we water it? Can we water our house? Please. I would love for it to remain like this. Um, well, obviously I need a watering can. Uh, dokey. I'm just testing passability with these trees. Don't mind me. Uh, nothing. I do like the fact that the character appears behind a tree. It's not realistic, but it's very, very good in showing the player where you are when you're behind something. Which is awesome. But also as well, you can see through trees when there are... Okay, so there's something here. Something this way. As you know what, I'll go up that lighthouse first. No, windmill, sorry. It's a windmill. Windmill. Hello there. Oh, hey, newcomer. Are you wondering what I'm doing? I'm bird watching. Can't you tell? From this high up, I can see the whole aisle. Oh, right. I have a gift for you. Got a feather. Thank you. I found it in a bird's nest a while back. No idea what kind it is, but isn't it pretty? There's been all sorts of birds recently. What if it's part of this whole weird phenomenon thing? Even so, I'm super happy about it. You're super happy that there's a weird phenomenon happening? And I just realized that the end of those windmill panels have books on them. <laughs> oh, they're feathers. Maybe there's just lots of dead, dead birds on those windmills. Just accumulate at the bottom of them. R.I.P. birds. Ah, trees. Lovely, lovely, lovely trees. Are we sure it's, ta sure it's taking a while? <laughs> Don't worry about it, Izzy. She'll be back soon. Trust in her navigating skills. O oops. Forgot you heard... Forgot you heard any new anything newcomer? Stop and smell the roses, Emmy. Greenhouse. Greenhouse, you want me to smell the roses? You want to be you want me to be in here and smell the lovely roses? The lovely, lovely, lovely roses. Ah look at this place. Isn't it just so wonderful in here? With all the lovely butterflies and effects and all that. My goodness sakes, where are the a, a tangle of thick vines covered the glass wall? Uh, mushrooms! Don't eat shrooms. Except if you're in a Mario Kingdom. The Mushroom Kingdom, sorry. Get that one out of the way. So you said smell roses. Don't forget to smell the roses. Where are Zy roses? Vi roses. There's no option to smell roses. It smells like nature! <laughs> uh, lovely, lovely. Oh, what are these lanterns? Are these like Chinese lanterns? There's some sort of lantern. Oh, look at that! What a wildflower that is! 
wash over this way. And we just go around in a circle. Excellent. We've made a full circle, guys. <gasps> Sunflowers. Let's go up here. We haven't been up here before. Oh, this is so pretty here. It's a squirrel. It's a lovely squirrel. Look at this place. You could go anywhere here and you'll find a good fun now. It's just so pretty. It's Emma's house. Knock on the door. No one's answering. Emma, are you home? I know you're back there, but can you answer the door, please? God damn it. God, everyone's so... Everyone's either out or so, so rude. This is part of the phenomenon, isn't it? Hmm. Damn it, Keen. Okay. You're that, aren't you? Okay. Save the game one more time. Ah, oh, Micey, how are you doing so far? I see you've been exploring this island, talking to everyone. Have you made any new friends? Ah, uh, even if you haven't, I'm sure once you really get to know everyone, it'll just happen naturally. Speaking of which, I want to get to know you better as well. What, would you chat with me for a while? I'll be waiting for you at the greenhouse. We've just been to the greenhouse, master. But I shall go. I shall follow you wherever you go. Goody, goody, good, 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 good. Gum drops, and there are no gum drops. Can we purchase anything here? We've literally got sixteen hundred credits. I would like to place an order, please. Nine hundred ninety-nine. Is that like the maximum amount? Uh, okay, so up increases by ten. And of course, left and right goes up or down by one. By that. And. You know what? We'll. we'll um, increases speed. I'd say that's only good for scenarios where you're at a corner and you need to really get away from opponents. Or mysterious phenomenies. Okay, let's go down here then. This is a really pretty demo. Look at those rainbows as well. So gorgeous. Can we go across? Oh, we can go across here. Locked. Ooh, unlocked door using mysterious key. Excellent. What do we have in here? Hello? He -he -he. So you found me as expected. Congratulations, you discovered the Hint House. Hmm. I can see confusion in your eyes. Allow me to explain what I do here. Do you ever feel like you're stuck with no clue on how to proceed? Well, for a small fee of 10 credits, I'll give you a hint on how to progress. This is kind of a secret business. So don't be babbling about it to everyone. Café? Let me know when you need my services. Can I walk elsewhere within the hint house? Uh, now, do you need my assistance? Not really. Come find me when you're feeling lost. Let's use this first, rather than... This. <laughs> uh, lovely. Can we go... I would like to go to the back garden, please. I see there's a bench over there, but there's, there's no access way. There's literally no access way. And I just saw a little tent on there, that's so cute. They're such a cute little thing to explore and go around and do everything that you need to do and everything like that. This is Arcadia, by the way, guys. It is a fantastic, fantastic, beautiful game. Filled with magical endeavors with no dark themes in it. It's only wonderful. There's nothing related to Dreaming Mary in this game. <laughs> Actually, there's another thing that is, this game could be uh, inspired by. Dreaming Mary, you're here. Come sit next to me. Um, what if I just want to stand and talk? Ah, uh, this is my absolute favourite place on the aisle. Even more favourite than the bakery. Surrounded by beautiful flowers. It's the best. So, how was your day so far? Good. Ah, that's good. Uh, so, do you get along with everyone so far? 
Everyone here is pretty nice. That's good. I'm glad. Wow, such messy hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's with this awkward atmosphere? Uh, what's a good topic? Oh, I know. So, do you like anyone so far? I like you. I already said everyone was nice. No, I mean like. Like romantically. You know. Like in a lovely, dovely way. Come on. Let's get to know each other so through some girl on girl talk. I haven't been able to gossip with anyone lately, and you seem interesting. Okay, Fred. No, I'm not interested in anyone. No, oh, that's no fun. Sorry, I don't care for romance. Hmm, I see. I guess you did give up, give off that vibe. Do you love anyone? <laughs> what gave you that idea? Well, you asked the question first, so I'm just doing the favour by returning it back to you. I like the warped writing, by the way, you know, where it just keeps jumping about. Lucky yes. <laughs> yeah, I do. What can I say? I'm a romantic. I wanted to get to know you better, so but somehow the conversation shifted to me. Ah, oh, but at least it's not stilted anymore. So who do you you like like? Ah, uh, just one of the aisle leaders. We're close friends and we used to talk all the time. But we had a fight recently and well we're both stubborn as they come, and neither of us wants to come out and apologize. It was over something really dumb, too. I'm such an idiot. Oh, thank God, that spider's just too cute. You should apologize. Huh? I mean, I know that, but... It's just that person never apologizes. I'm sick of always being the one to come forward. You're being the grown-up by coming forward. They're being the child for letting you do all the work. I'm sure they miss you too. Yeah, maybe. I'll figure something out later. Let's do something fun for now. Can I have a piece of paper from your notebook? Thanks, let's draw something together. Drawing always helps me relax, especially here with all these pretty flowers. Let's both pick something pretty to draw. Then we can show each other when we're finished. It's It'll be like a bonding thing. I, you can draw. Anyone can draw. Except for people who don't have arms, I'm sorry. Oh, you'll be fine. Let's go. Look around and find something pretty to draw. There's lots of little things to draw. What if I just save instead? Look at that. What oh, good on that we have? A tree. A bush. What about these vines? A tank of thick vines cover the glass wall. Oh, I can't draw it, okay. It's some cute pink flowers attempt to draw it. What about yellow? Or white? Um, white flowery? On a white canvas? <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> uh, what about throw it? Oh, okay. As expected, it's not very good. <laughs> okay. Well, there was an attempt. Okay, let's do the white one then. Good enough. Okay. I drew you a flower. Are you done? Nod. Great, I'm done as well. Let's show them. Aw, oh, you drew a cloud or cotton candy. It's a flower. Eat your flower if you didn't know. Oh? I can't tell at all. Not at all, man. Oh, uh, you can look at mine now. Oh, uh, is that of me? Or is that of your friend? 
It's you. What do you think? You're great at drawing. Hehe. <laughs> Thanks. It's been a while since I've drawn a person. I'm glad it came out well. Actually, plot twist. That was drawn by the developer of the game. How dare... Anyways. <laughs> How dare you take... Why is that? I just don't like to... I'll tell you some other time. Anyway, I'm curious. Why did you come to Arcadia? My little brother is here. I want to find him and bring him home. His name is Jas. Jas... You mean... Jasper? King... King's right hand man? But how is that possible? You can't just come to Arcadia for a reason like that. I doubt the king would allow it. Please give me the Isle Key. I need to go find him. I'm sorry, Mizey. That's against the rules. You know that travel between Isles is dangerous right now. Now that I think about it, where did you get that... Am I... What's wrong, you two? Uri left for the prison forest this morning and hasn't come back yet. The prison forest? Why did she go there? Doesn't she know how dangerous it is? Well, she wanted to... The reason doesn't matter right now. We have to go and look for her. You can't just go and look for her in that place. The prison forest is like a maze. You have to know how to navigate it or you get lost immediately. Oh, he doesn't know how to navigate it. She made a map of the forest a long time ago, and before all this weird stuff happened, we played there all the time. The forest was different then. Nowadays, it's constantly shifting and moving. It's like the time-space continuum of being constantly shifting. Possible due to the mysterious phenomenons. There's no way O's map will be useful anymore. What were you guys thinking? We just want to... Mysey, can you help me? We're going to go into the prison forest and find Uri. We'll go too. Absolutely not. Go home and... Wait. Just in case she comes back. Okay. Okay. Please bring her home. Sorry, Mysey. We'll talk later, okay? Let's go. I have something from, King, from the king at my house that might help with finding Uri. I'll meet you there. Uh, uh, sorry. In the sunflower house. At the lovely sunflower house, we're gonna go into the forest. Forest. How do we go to that house? I wanna know how to get to that bench and play. Let's play catch. In the flowers. No! Get back here with that! Is that a bird? Mice, you have to catch that bird, it stole the directions! Come on, please. It's super important that we go through. Sorry, leader Amy's orders. But our little sister is in there. Icy Clary. Eep. Amy, did I tell you two to stay put? We can't just sit around and do nothing. Mizey, I'm trusting you to find that bird and get back for direction. So I'm sorry to put you this all responsibility on you, but I have to look after these two and make sure we don't do anything dumb. Hey, we heard that. Once you give the directions back, we can go into the forest and find Uri. Fair warning, the king wrote those directions, and he's quite a lover of puzzles, but I believe you can figure it out. After all, you're wearing that person's... Come on, you two. We're staying at your house for now. Great. Now we're on a hunt to find a bird. Great. Absolutely wonderful. Um, okay, so you don't have anything, and what about you? No, I'm good. I'm trying to find a bird somewhere. Where could it be in this Arcadia? In the Arcadia. In the trees? Most likely a tree. Why wouldn't it be in a tree? That's where birds love to go, trees. I thought you might be here, so I need to climb that. The directions were dropped into a bird's nest. It's too high to reach me. Maybe with a rope-like object and some kind of hook, it would be possible to make a tool to climb up with. Great. 
age. You're looking for something to call, use to climb a big tree? Maybe we can check the greenhouse. It's got lots of vines and stuff. Thank you very much. I believe we found that hint more quickly than we should have entailed, really. <laughs> I love looking for clues. Clues are... Wait, hold on. Let me check with you, because you've got lures and stuff. Uh... Look if you got this giant triple fisherman's hook. This thing could probably catch a whale if we're being honest. Uh, triple hook. If I knew you'd be happy with just a measly hook, I could have spent my time doing something more productive. No, I'll probably still be fishing at all. Yeah, we got ourselves a hook from a fisherman. That makes logical sense. Just remember. Well, okay. <laughs> fishing and hooks. Let's see if we can find some vines or stuff. Maybe this could suffice as a rope. Pull one off. Tied for a vine to the treble hook. Got makeshift grappling hook. It is a makeshift one. <laughs> because we just made it on our own. Excellent. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's go back and see what we can do with this makeshift grappling hook. I wonder if the bird is still there. We are really smart, guys. Don't you believe it? We are really, really smart. Yes, just use it to get... Press Z when the cursor hits the light blue area. All light blue areas must be selected in order to progress. Damn it! No! Failed. Try again? Well, absolutely. Why am... Okay. There we go. That did it. Yay. I'm glad we got to witness both, both variations of that. Success, climb up. Yes. Got prism forest directions. Excellent. I'm glad we witnessed both of them there. Both variations, both the failure and the success. Because to succeed in life, you also got to fail. But don't treat it as a failure. Treat it as a step towards success. Are you got directions? Great work. We count on you to find Uri. Well, not really. But we all trust Ermi and she trusts you. So, yeah. Anyway, good luck. Thank you. Thank you, security guide. Um... Uh, also makes you show when in prison voice. Excellent. We don't have to open it up then and memorize. Set up the directions. Um, X marks the spot. Hmm. Okay, X marks the spot, so east. Wait, did we all have X's? No, yeah, X marks the spot, so... East... What the... Are you... Are you for real? What? Um... Okay, I'm not getting any vibes of clues in here, unfortunately. Or maybe, maybe because we expire the diamonds, we should go back to the left. No, we're not. Set up the directions. So it's, hold on. Let me just make something out of this quickly. S. But I don't know what hints are given though. But like. What would give it away? Key. The key looks like some sort of um, uh, hexagon shape thing. Yeah, this isn't going well. There's no clues. And these magic mushrooms don't do anything either. Like, can you see anything, guys? That looks like a clue. 
because I'm not getting anything. Okay. Hmm. No, I'm not getting anywhere with this, really. Okay, I just got what X marks the spot is. Look for the symbol that indicates in the key. So, I want to go north. Ah, who are you? My name's Meezy. I'm here to save you, Uri. Don't tell me. You have a newcomer, aren't you? You came to take me back? But I can't go back yet. I've got a little lost, but I can feel it. I'm really close. Really close to it. Clara and Isaiah depend on me too, so uh, sorry. If you want to catch me, you have to find me before it's clearing. Just keep following your directions. And you better hurry up because it's almost time. Almost time for what? West Yeah, that's definitely the spot. Don't throw me a curveball here with that. Because there are different types of X's. And that's the correct X I'm standing on, not the others, they're the incorrect X's. They're confusions. Looks like he made it. What's this about? Oh, it's about time. Time for what? <laughs> You'll see. <sighs> Following your own selfish ambitions, aren't you? Hurry! We were so worried about you. Mighty, you found her. I'm glad you two are safe. The guard dude came and told us a forest turned back to normal. After that, we immediately tried to find you two. It didn't take long after all. Well, at all either. There was just one simple path leading right to this direction. Yes, it was very strange. Could it be his doing? Who's doing? Anyway, let's all head home. Wait. We want to get Mizey a special welcome gift too. Yeah. You're going to love this. In the prison forest clearing. When the sun vanishes below the horizon, the most beautiful flower blooms. Wow, look at that. No, I got a bottle to hold it. And I have a ribbon to decorate it. Nah, isn't that pretty? You guys. Sorry we missed out on the welcome, welcoming ceremony. But from all of us, even though it's late. Welcome to Arcadia. <laughs> what a beautiful decoration that is. Aw. Feeling tired. Need to find Jess. Can't get distracted. Have to hurry before time runs out. Okay. You say so, friend. Friendly friend. Of course you need the leader's key in order to open the gate. Have to go to M.I.'s house. In this. I'm sorry, Mizey, that's against the rules. We need to progress through this hellscape. Have to go to M.I.'s house. Emai's house. You know that travel between ours is dangerous right now. I don't care. It's Emai's house. Have to go in. 
Look at this place. Writing desk. It looks like Emma was in the middle of writing a letter. Yes, being here is God, a sudden change in the atmosphere. Since she's, especially since it's night time. The R key might be in here. Look through the drawer. There's only one option. Got R1 key. There's a photo hidden at the bottom. Who are those two? Are those other aisle leaders? I'm anticipating that MI M I might be in somewhere nearby. Is M I around here? I don't know. Why well, don't know? Must get to be Isle Gate. What if somebody's guarding the gate? Nobody is guarding the gate. How wonderful. Lucky for us. A fancy gate entwined with ivy. It's locked shut. Use the aisle one key. Yeah. The key won't fit. Try again. It's not working. Force it open. There we go. We did it. Mighty, calm down. That key won't work without my permission. I'm sorry, but staying here for now is for your own good. I don't want you to get hurt. Is finding your brother all you care about? Go home and get some rest. It's been a long day. We'll talk tomorrow, okay? I'll be taking that key back. Sorry about this, Mizey. Yeah, can't leave now. Yeah, well, I feel infuriated if I can't do anything on my own will. It's like, what's the point of living if you can't live your own life? God damn it, am I? No choice but to sleep for now. Looks like there's something under the bed. A trap door? It seems to be locked by some sort of mechanism. Um, okay, what's going on here? Um, how do you... Uh, I'm just not one of these, is it? This is actually... You can't see where the background is just because of the color. It's incredibly hard to see what's going on. And I don't know what to do, actually. Are you supposed to just... Oh, you're supposed to just change them. Okay. Oh. There was an unlocking sound. Underneath the trap door. There's a dark staircase going deep underground. Answer? Yeah. It seems dangerous, but might as well. Is down this place. Now it's quite dark. It's frighteningly dark. And now the stairs have been taken away. The path vanished. It's too dark. Can't go any further. There's a star there. It's too dark, can't go any further. The star is following. The area brightened a bit. Yay. We got ourselves a luminous spirit with us. Got five bait, excellent. So we're kind of like in the dark side of a dream now. Or the dark side of Arcadia. Well, this could have been like, I don't know, the previous cycle of Arcadia. The star seems to have ran away. What is that over there? Hmm. Yes, yeah, A, isn't it? To use for bait. Drop bait. I know what you mean.
The stars flying, yeah, it's brightened a bit. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, thank you. Okay, that's all three. Yeah, 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 it's just removed now, thanks to it being too bright. This is definitely something creepy. How heartbreaking. Fearless? All this passion, gone to waste. That girl is truly a pitiful child. You ever been passionate about something? Is that so? Then perhaps you may understand. Passion, in the end, means nothing without the skills and support to sustain it. It's a fire that quickly burns out unless they're tinder and twigs. And even then, some skills aren't worth acknowledging. No matter how bright the flame is. That's the kind of world that adults live in. Do you believe that's fair? Heh <laughs> You don't have to answer it. Answer that. I don't know how you feel. I can read minds, remember? Anyway, you should save now. Or I'll save. I'll do the save with my companions. Good luck. I wonder how far you can go. Do you know what? You could be the true antagonist of this tale. This place, man. The stars have stopped following you. Again. What's up ahead? The mysterious phenomenons. Okay. I shall go on my way then. You won't chase me, dear ones. Although you are. dead and. Hello? Can you hear me? I can't believe it. You're actually here. Please, will you trust me? Close your eyes. I promise you'll be alright. Okay, I'll close my eyes. Close my eyes in the dark side of Acadia. You can open them now. Clover? Thank you for trusting me. I'm glad you're okay. Who are you? Um, Citrus? Is what they call me. You can call me that too if you want. Oh, and I'm the fifth Isle leader. Nice to meet you. Ah, uh, you don't have to introduce yourself. I already know your name, Mizey. I heard it from everyone else already. Uh, um, may I call you Mizey as well? Sure. Thank you. That makes me really happy. Oh, you're equally as adorable as, as Emmy is. What happened back there? Um, I don't really know myself. Somehow you're in a place that shouldn't exist in Arcadia. A weird limbo between dreamscapes. I sensed something was wrong tonight, so I tracked you down and teleported you to the nearest safe dreamscape. Which is... here. I guess. Good thing I was watching over the dreamscapes tonight. You could have been... Ah, uh, never mind. And... Dreamscape's supposed to be... Private? Ah, uh, yes. They are. Um, oops. But I have to worry about obeying the laws of Acadia. And, um, to tell you the truth, Mizey, neither do you. We're exceptions to the rules. After all, we're both actually outsiders, aren't we? If you want to know everything, ask the king. Anyway, I have to go now. I hope I get to see you soon, Mizey. Please be careful. Into the machine you go. Anything this way? For some reason, there's no way forward. Hoggy doggy. I'll trust you on that map behalf. An arcade machine for flower, pa flower power panic. Can't play without tokens. If this was the full version, maybe you'd be able to find one. But unfortunately, this is the end of the demo. Thanks for playing. No, that was so good. Psst. Would you like to see an extra cutscene? Yes. 
Enjoy, meow. Ah, so annoying. What's up, King? Tass. Adults are annoying. Yeah, yeah. Look, you look like you could use a nap. Hmm, I'll go take one. But before that... You know about it already, don't you? Looks like your big sis is, is here in Arcadia. And it seems she wants to take you back. Yeah. So? So, what? So how do you feel about that? What are you going to do? Hmm, you already know what I'm going to say, don't you? <laughs> Probably. But tell me anyway. Right now, staying with you is the most important thing to me. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. I told you so. Anyway, it's now time for me. See you later, Jas. Good night, Quetzal. But do you really believe that? I don't think so. I see. As always, you don't understand anything at all. Or maybe you're the one who doesn't understand. Jasper. Thank you so much for watching guys. This has been the demo to Arcadia. I'm going to go edit this video, wait for it to render it, I upload it, and then go to bed. <laughs> no, but seriously, this has been a brilliant little demo to play. Um, the story itself, I really like it. If you can call it a story, it's more like an adventure through dreamscapes and alternative realities. But, you can't judge a story just based off a demo. You've got to wait until the whole thing comes up before saying, yes, I like that story, or no, I'm not impartial to the story. But, you know, with a demo, you always have to be on the fence because it's not the full game's potential. But, this game, I really love the visual implementations of being gone into the game, both the visual aesthetics as the graphics goes and all of the little effects just the little things as well like the sparkles and the pedals and the wind they're just so lovely and also don't you think the characters in this game are all so ugly doubly cutesy wootsy well i'm not going to say who my favorite character is so far but there is definitely a certain sour taste to a particular character but they're not actually sour but the um the kind of fruit in itself can be kind of soury if you put your teeth into one of those kinds. But anyways, thank you so much for watching guys. This has been a demo of Arcadia and see you all in the next video. Have a wonderful day and take care of yourselves.